Hey guys, it's Walker with Full Spectrum Laser and today I'm going to show you the alignment procedure for your Muse. The first stage is going to be prepping for your alignment. For this procedure, we're going to need thermal paper, a 2.5 inch hex key, and some optic wipes. We'll also need to unlock the drive motor so we can move the laser head manually. Press the lock unlock icon on your touchscreen. Before we start the alignment process, let's visualize what we're trying to do. We want to take the actual laser, which is invisible, and align it to the red beam to ensure that both hit each mirror precisely. Okay, let's get started. First we'll want to align the laser output to mirror 1. Take a small piece of thermal paper, about a half inch will do, and place it on mirror 1, which is located to the left of the laser output. Close the lid. Press the test fire icon on your touch screen. If you don't see a test fire, hit the icon again. This should put a small burn mark on your thermal paper. Locate your red beam diode and notice the difference between the red beam diode and mirror one. Be careful not to confuse the two or else your adjustments will be off. Now we'll adjust the position of the red dot diode with our 2.5 inch hex key. Tightening or loosening the three screws on the red dot diode will adjust its position. Some experimenting is required to understand how each screw changes and adjusts the red dot. Use only tiny micro movements of the screw. Small adjustments go a long way, especially the further the beam travels. With this in mind, we'll want to position our red beam right above the burn mark. Be careful not to over tighten or over loosen the adjustment screws. Now remove the thermal tape from mirror one. Use an optic wipe to remove any residual adhesive from the mirror. Next, we'll align mirror one to mirror two. Once again, we're gonna place our thermal tape, but this time on mirror two. Jog or manually move the laser head to the furthest south position in the work area. Close the lid and test fire the laser. We'll see a burn mark on our thermal paper. We'll use our 2.5 inch hex key to adjust the screws so our red dot diode is on top of the test fire. Don't worry if that places the red dot away from the center of the mirror. We're gonna adjust that later. Now that we have a test fire on the mirror two from a far position, move the X gantry to the uppermost position in the machine. Now test fire again. Now put the gantry to the far south position. There should be two observable burn marks on your thermal paper. If they overlap perfectly, then you can move on. If they are apart, then you'll need to adjust mirror one. Remember that this is different from the red dot diode. This actually has a mirror. This uses the same principles with the three screws coordinating together. Carefully adjust mirror one until the second mark on your thermal paper is under the red dot. Repeat this process until the two burn marks are on top of each other as close as possible, and then you can move on to the next step. The third mirror is on the laser head itself and moves along the X gantry. Place a piece of thermal paper on top of mirror three. Now we'll position our X gantry in the center of the work area with our laser head to the furthest right and close the lid. And now test fire. Carefully adjust the red dot diode again on top of the burn mark. And now we reposition for the close test fire. Once again, there'll be two observable burn marks on your thermal paper. If they don't overlap, then you'll have to adjust mirror two. Remember that we're adjusting mirror two and not the red beam diode. Position the screws on mirror two so the burn mark is under the red dot diode. Remember the further you are away from the tube, the harder it is to align these dots. Simply be patient, meticulous, and you'll get there. And now we're almost done. The focus lens is at the bottom of the laser head. To avoid clipping of the laser beam, you always want it to hit the center of the lens. Place a piece of thermal paper on top of your lens like we previously have done. 
Loosen the thumb screw on your lens and position it so it's as far as down as it can go. And now re-tighten the thumb screw. Now with the lid closed, go ahead and test fire. Once again, we're going to adjust the red beam diode so it's on top of your burn mark. And now, you have successfully aligned your mirrors. So that's the procedure on how to align your machine. There is a learning curve and it may take a couple of hours, but eventually it will become second nature. That's it for this video, and for other videos and tutorials, check out the links below.